Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at this uh, wireless earphone from Anchor and this one is the Soundbird Sports NB10. So in my previous videos we have already taken a look at the Anchor Soundbird Slim. So this is the cheapest uh, or the lowest end model from the Anchor wireless earphones and I find it uh, really impressive. Uh, it comes with a magnet, these ear uh, pins, it basically lodges inside your ear canals and the earphone doesn't come out that easily. There's your inline controller, uh, your play, pause, play button, increase your volume button and decrease your volume button. It comes with about two feet long cable, goes behind your neck and you can also put it in front of your neck. So I've been using this for a couple of months now and I'm really, really, very impressed by these uh, Soundbird Slim uh, earphone from Anchor. Uh, now I was also looking at the NB10 model, which is this one. And I looked on the internet, but there weren't uh, many reviews about this particular earphone there were there there are a couple of videos but uh, i couldn't get to know what i wanted to know about this earphone so i spent my own money on this one so i basically bought them so this is the box typical anchor packaging blue colored stripe with white and here are some of the specification about the earphone you can see that it has uh, the it, it comes with a very big driver size which is 12 millimeter frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 a thousand hertz comes with bluetooth version 4.0 water resistant ipx and it also comes with a built-in mic now they claim that the uh, uh, the playback time is about six hours but i will let you guys know in a future video how much time did i get uh, when using these and also i will test the microphone whether the microphone is better than uh, the sound but slim or the microphones are better in this one because the microphone in this one uh, is much closer to your mouth than when compared to this one because the microphone is in the ear uh, is one of these uh, ear speaker and which is much far away from your uh, mouth so this is the box inside the box you will also get a smaller box and in that smaller box you will get a couple of accessories so let's take a look at the accessories as well so you will get a small piece of one feet long uh, power cable which you can use to charge your anchor nb10 and if you look at the uh, this side let me just open it you can see there is your small micro usb port you can use this port to charge your anchor nb10 so let's close the port you will get the micro usb cable you will also get this carry bag so you can basically put your earphone in this this is a mesh polyester uh, carry bag and you can easily carry your earphone without any problem there's that and you will get an extra couple of uh, ear tips so you can choose which one fits you better and you will also get this uh, this neck band manager so if in case you break this one this is basically for tighten the earphone to your neck or loosen it uh, if in the case this one breaks break uh, you will get another extra piece and you will get at least uh, two pairs more of ear tips and the one is already installed so basically a three pair of ear tips in total so let me just keep all these things assigned and show you the pairing process okay so here is the uh, earphone as you can see it is already turned on and it is already the blue light is already stable that means it is already paired so let me just turn it off to turn your turn off the earphone all you have to do is basically press the middle button so you can see there there are a couple of buttons so to press the middle button all i have to do is press the middle button until you see the blue led uh, turns red and then stop so the earphone is now turned off now let me show you the pair, pairing process open the bluetooth on your phone go to bluetooth setting and here's your nb sports nb10 let me just click on unpair so that we can do the process all over again so as you can see the bluetooth is on and So our Bluetooth is on and now let me turn on I, my, I, my earphone. So to turn on the earphone all you have to do is press the middle button again until you see the blue LED flashing. So you can see the blue LED and now it's flashing. That means it is in a pairing mode. So after a couple of seconds you will see the new device on your phone. Let's wait for a second. 
it's not showing up let me click on scan now it shows up so click on it and it says pairing it says connected and you can see that it's also displaying the battery percentages that is the battery is at 40 percent so let's keep the phone aside and let's take a look at the earphone itself so i've been using this for a couple of days and i can see that there is not much uh, uh, difference when it comes to the sound quality when compared to the soundbud slim the only difference i could find was the the sound was much fuller there was a little more bass in this one and it will also depend the kind of phone you are using uh, with this one because uh, if uh, if the audio driver inside your phone is not that powerful the volume on these ones are going to be a little low however even if the audio driver on your phone is not that powerful uh, the sound quality or the audio level uh, with the soundbird slim is still going to be uh, very much appreciable so let me just plug uh, play something and let's take a look at couple of controls uh, that we get with this earphone now the driver when it comes to the driver this is the driver size and you can compare the driver size of the anchor soundbird slim so the driver is basically huge when compared to the soundbird slim this is the soundbird slim and this is the anchor sound core nb10 so the driver size is a little big and the sound is much more fuller uh, you get you can hear a little more extra frequencies of different instruments so uh, there's that so the, the earphone is already paired up so let's say let's play something so i'm playing uh, the legend from legend from siddhu musewala and as you can see the song is now playing so let's take a look at the some of the controls that we get with the earphone now before we do that let me show you now these are neck band style earphone basically uh, if you know that i am a big fan of neck band style earphone so this is my philips shs 390 and as you can see this is also your neck band style so you can see uh, the resemblance in between the two so basically what happens is this sits this lip sits on top of your ears and all the weight of the speakers and wires goes on top of your ear so when you're running when you're walking uh, the chances of earbuds coming out of your ear is very less because all the weight is on top of your ears and because uh, earphone is on top of your ears uh, it is very stable so the reason I bought this is uh, for the same reason because I like a neck band style earphone so as you can see the person in the photo is wearing it like this and there is your control buttons and you he can use his uh, fingers to control the earphone so let's take a look at the couple of controls so you can see that the song in the uh, is playing and here is the anchor so there are uh, anchor earphone and here is your uh, control button so uh, to play pause all I have to do is press the middle button once and you can see the audio so, sorry the music stop playing to play it again press the middle button again it again starts playing now to skip forward a track all I have to do is uh, press the middle button twice click click and as you can see now it's playing the second track now to increase the volume all I have to do is uh, press this button which is closer to this uh, band press this button and the volume will start increasing now to decrease the volume I will have to press the button opposite to that one which is this one so to decrease the volume I will have to press this one and when I do that the volume will decrease now let's say someone is calling you how will you go about answering calls or not so just for privacy reason I'm going to put this on top of the phone just to hide the number so I'm going to be using my Nokia 1661 to call on this phone and then I will pick up the phone using the buttons and I will show you how you can transfer the call between the uh, uh, between the earphone and the phone itself so let me just give it a call and within a couple of seconds you will see the call initiating okay so the call is now coming and as you can see at the bottom it's showing the Bluetooth symbol basically the call is now is coming through the Bluetooth so to pick up the call I, all I will have to do is press the middle button once and the call is now live now you can see there is a Bluetooth symbol 
this is a bluetooth symbol so that means the call is now connected through the bluetooth now let's take a look at how what you can do when you are getting a call and how you can answer a call how can how you can reject a call and there are times when you when other person wants to talk to the person you're talking to but you can't just give them your earphone so what you can do is you can transfer the call from the earphone to the phone and then you can just hand them the phone then they can finish talking to the person and then you can again transfer the call back to the earphone so that you can continue talking to the person again so let's take a look at what how, how to receive a call in this one so i'm calling on this phone which is connected to the earphone for say for privacy reason i am hiding the number so as you can see we're getting a call and you can see that we are getting a bluetooth symbol uh, that means when we receive the call the call is going to be connected through the earphone now to receive the call all I have to do is press the middle button of our of my earphone and the call will be received. So press it once and as you can see the call is in continuation and as you can see the Bluetooth symbol that means the call is connected through the, uh, the Bluetooth. Now to reject the call all I will have to do is basically press, press the middle button, button once when I'm getting a call. I can press the middle button for one second and the call will be rejected. To receive the call just press it once a single click and you can receive the call which I just did okay so the phone that was <coughs> using for to demonstrate the usage of this uh, earphone uh, currently I'm shooting with another phone so I don't have a phone to show you further functions but let me just go about them uh, again so we talked about how you can reject a call so let's talk about how you can transfer the call from the earphone uh, to the phone itself let's say you want to talk to the you're talking to a person and another person also wants to talk to the person so you can't just take this off and give this to them you can simply transfer the call from the earphone to the phone and just give it to them so all you will have to do is press the middle button for about one second and you will hear uh, a beep inside your ears and once the beep comes that means the call is transferred from the uh, bluetooth earphones to your phone let's take this phone this doesn't have a bluetooth but just for reference just let's just put it in front so now the call is transferred to your bluetooth sorry your phone now you can give this phone to the person when they are finished talking to the person on the phone they give you the phone now you want to reconnect to the now you want to talk to the person so you don't have to again repair it with your phone all you have to do is transfer the call from the phone back to the earphone to do that again press the middle button for one second and again you will hear a beep and the call is now transferred from the uh, uh, the phone to the Bluetooth and you will also see a Bluetooth symbol uh, on the calling menu uh, when you are in continuation of a call okay so let's talk about the call quality so I've been talking using the uh, anchor soundbird NB10 soundbird sports NB10 for a couple of hours now so, and I've received and called multiple calls and I can tell that the calling difference and the mic quality of both these headphones is very similar uh, with one draw drawback on this one is that <clears throat> you can't maneuver the microphone if the audio is not that nice or if you are in a noisy environment you'll pretty much have to take this off uh, one earphone off and then talk to the uh, microphone in the this one however in this case you can pretty much leave the earphones inside your ear and then because the mic is in the inline controller you can move it a little bit in front of your mouth and then uh, increase the quality or increase the audio of the mic by bring it, bringing this uh, closer to your mic. So there is one advantage with this one. However, I think the mic quality that uh, between these two earphones is very similar. Battery life. So I charge these uh, headphones completely and then in my usage at full volume listening to music I got about 5.6 hours. Uh, when listening to uh, some mellow music you can get more than uh, 5 hours but I think 5 hours at full volume is uh, is the best bet to go with. However, in general usage, receiving a couple of calls, keeping the volume at about 75% uh, and because nobody uses the headphones all the time, uh, you are using it, uh, I use it very sparingly. So in my testing uh, of normal usage, I was able to get more than 6 hours and Anchor claims a battery uh, time of about 6 hour playtime and in my usage after uh, turning it off, after uh, turning it on and using it for different uh,
tasks uh, sometimes for music sometimes listening to for uh, audio books books uh, in general usage i was able to get about uh, more than 6 hours uh, as my uh, usage is concerned so battery life is pretty much compared with this one however at full volume the soundbird slims last me a little more when compared to this one one thing that these headphones excel in is the name itself because sports uh, and when it comes to sport these are very snug they are not going to come out of your ears you can simply put them on and you pretty much cannot feel them uh, inside your ears and considering uh, the housing is very very big the battery life could have been a little more but unfortunately the battery is not more than 6 hours and some uh, at full volume um, and listening to music it doesn't even last you 6, six hours long so the and one very important thing that I forgot to mention is the uh, sleeping. So I usually sleep a lot while wearing headphones or usually people uh, are not going to sleep but when they wear uh, headphones usually people fall asleep and uh, these are not very comfortable if you want to sleep uh, wearing them. So that's I want to point that out. If, you, if, you, if you're into sports and you want a wireless earphones you can definitely take a look at these anchor sports nb10 but if you want a, a wireless earphone and your budget is low and you want to use them for general purpose use then you can definitely go with the sound but slim these are my favorite earphones and i swear by these and i think i can use them in almost all these situations. and because the standard tips fit me really well i can also uh, I, I have also walked uh, wearing them, run wearing them, and they haven't came, come out of my ears. But different people have different ears, uh, but also ears are not symmetrical, so different people might uh, have different fit. But in my case, uh, this one fits me really well. This one also fits me really well, but I think the loop could have been a little bigger. Uh, I really like both these headphones, but for the budget and value for money, I would still go with the Soundbird Slim. And so I've been listening uh, through these uh, earphones for about uh, uh, two, three days. And in comparison to the Soundbird Slims, which is this one, I don't think spending a little more on these ones is a good idea. Uh, the reason I say this is because the fit on this one is not really great even these two these fit very well i like them but as far as a general purpose earphone you can't just put them on easily these ones are very fast to put on i find it a little flimsy with some people but because i'm used to wearing neck band earphones i can put them on very easily but i just don't like the feel of it on my ears and i prefer the soundbird slims more and the reason for that is the price point uh, uh, this is a little more expensive this is about twice the price of these one this is the sound but slims and for this you will have to spend uh, about double than the price of the sound but slims so in my opinion if you are looking for a decent budget quality earphone uh, you should definitely spend your money on the sound but slims one thing I forgot to mention is the charging time so I just did the charging time again just to show make sure that uh, this information is included in the video so I started from complete zero battery and it took me uh, one hour 40 minutes and yeah, I used my PC which is which gives you about 500 milliamp hour so if you're charging this with your PC uh, you can expect a charging time of about one hour uh, 40 minutes there we go this was my video on the soundbird sports uh, nb10 i hope you found this video helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye